Good evening, my name is Garrett and welcome to The Last Call. On tonight's Versus, we have the Battle of the Eagle Rares. We have Eagle Rare 10 year coming in at a 45% ABV, at least 10 years old, and Eagle Rare 17 coming in at a 50.5% ABV, at least 17 years old. Now, the reason I really kind of want to put these two up against each other is because both of them are fairly hard to find in most markets. But I haven't got the opportunity to really sit down with them and really kind of pick them apart. Both of these, again, are really hard to find, unfortunately, for people. And here in 2023, this isn't any easier. Uh, they just announced their next release for 2023, and I don't expect that to change. I was fortunate enough to actually get drawn for a lottery for Total Wine and pick this up for a really good price. But with Eagle Rare Tenure, I wanted to kind of see how much you really are truly missing out maybe or maybe not of going with the 17 versus the standard 10. so let's go ahead and jump into things we're going to talk about color notes taste wrap up in the market price section and pick a winner let's get into it and as always make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel hang around for a bit if you're interested in individual reviews of these they'll be linked up above and down below when they go live but no, I was very fortunate enough to be able to, uh, to purchase the 17-year Eagle Rare. And I really enjoy it. I love sharing it with people. And that's the day I got it, I opened it up to share. Because it's not meant to be on a shelf just to look at. I'm not a museum. And I've taken it places, got to share with other individuals. And it's just so fun to see people's reactions with it. I love it. Color-wise... Definitely, the 17 is quite a bit darker. I mean, you're several shades darker on that. Which is not surprising, again, it's another seven years on top of the standard 10, but there is definitely a color difference. All right, let's go for notes on the standard 10 year. That is a beautiful nose. And I'll probably get some flack on this, but I really truly feel that Eagle Rare 10 year deserves a higher price asking point than 30 to 35 dollars i ended up paying 60 dollars for my bottle and i'm fine with that i think it lives more closer to the like 50 dollar price range in my opinion but it's a beautiful nose awesome oak layers very fruity today green apple spice layers no spice and the funny thing is this is most likely the low rye mash bill is like 10 percent rye on these but it's got a beautiful light spice in there. A little bit of a uh, citrus note, like orange. Yeah, like a freshly espressed orange on there. You get that beautiful barrel note going on too. It's sweet, it's oaky. It's exactly the term bourbon because you're getting all the caramel, the vanilla, the barrel tannins going on in here. But it's also sweet with that little bit of spice. And the vanilla is kind of mixing with that barrel note, giving almost like a toasted marshmallow, just lightly today for me, for some reason. I've been finding marshmallow on more things, it's weird. But beautiful, light, there's no ABV, nothing harsh, no off notes on this one. It is a great example of what used to be a, a daily drinker for so many people, and it's just beautiful on the nose. All right, let's go for notes on the 17. And here, you can tell the big difference. The oak layers are deeper, richer. The spice is more subtle, but more refined. Where here it's kind of bouncing around a bit. You're like, oh, it's just a good spice note here. It's like, it just got a little more depth to, to the nose. You get more like a uh, dark cinnamon. The oils in this one, it's got almost like a, a wood oil going on beautiful light apple going on as well it's kind of the funny thing is my brain's wanting to say like apple cinnamon just lightly like if you take you, you cut up an apple sliced and then you sprinkle just a little pinch of cinnamon over the top the beautiful caramel note but the caramel that comes across in here versus the standard eagle rare is a more like a homemade caramel like you sat at the stove and you're making the caramel yourself where over here, it's more of your standard, almost like caramel chews kind of note to it. Beautiful though. You can definitely tell this is the big brother to the Atenier. 
but it's a beautiful nose. There's no ABV, nothing harsh, no off notes. It's not even totally overly oaked either, which is crazy to think for a 17 year old bourbon. Beautiful, beautiful notes going on in that one. All right, let's go for taste on the 10 year. That's so good. I try to baby this bottle because I cannot find a standard Eagle Rare in Indiana. I have to like ship it in. The notes in this, beautiful oak. It just dances across the palate. A little bit of that rye spice going on in there. The oak, the vanilla, the caramel. This is the epitome of Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. It's warming. And this is my first drink of the night, but it's got a beautiful warmth to it. And just that light little bit of the orange zest is coming through. It is just a great sip. Get a bit of brown sugar sweetness going on here. My second sip. The oak layers are just divine. I mean, it's just a great sip. The brown sugars are starting to come out with that little bit of sweetness in there. The spices, the oak, the vanilla, caramel, all your classic notes, but they're so well refined on the palate. And for it being 10 years, it's not overly oaked. That can happen sometimes and depend on your proofing points and how it's taken care of. And I gotta give Eagle Rare credit where credit's due. They do a great job with it. Let's go for a taste on the 17. So rich. You can taste the similarities, but it doesn't take long for you to go, man, if that ain't damn good. The oak is much more dominating, but still not overpowering. You're still getting the spice, but it's more refined. Sweetness is in there, but not quite as sweet. It's more of a rich, caramely sweetness going on. I love that light bit of spice here in the finish as well. That little bit of cinnamon and clove going on. That is just a beautiful sip. Still no ABV, nothing harsh, no off notes in the finish here as well. Just really an easy drinker. Here in my second sip, I'm getting a little bit darker fruits, more like a plum note. And this beautiful richness going on from that. Almost like, uh, like a fruit drizzle over a slice of decadent chocolate cake. Here in my third sip, I do find a little bit of like a cracked black pepper and a little bit of a leathery note going on there, like well-worn leather. It's rich, it's oaky, it's spice, it's everything you want in a older version of the standard Eagle Rare 10 year. All right, let's talk about market price because we all know market price is market price and it's always gonna vary. So I ended up paying, so for reference points, I paid about $60 for my Eagle Rare 10 year and I paid $156 for my 17. And to be honest, I think both are great at those price points. I don't discredit it at all. Now, MSRP, you know, your standard pricing on these tends to be like $30, $35, and like 100 to like 130, 150 range usually. So this one's gonna be kind of hard to judge because I'm going to say that at my pricing, if I paid 60 for this, why pay 150 for this? Yes. I don't have an argument with that. But in the perfect world situation, if this is 30 and this is 100, I think you grab this for 100, obviously. But in today's market, enjoy your Eagle Rare tenure if you can get it. It's a beautiful bottle and it does give you vibes of the 17. Not on all fundamental playing grounds, but it's a beautiful sip. But definitely, again, if you get the opportunity to ever give this a taste, Give it a try because it gets a good thumbs up in my book. So yeah, there you have it, folks. Eagle Rare 10-year versus Eagle Rare 17-year. If you have questions about either bottle, go ahead and let me know down in the comment section below. I will do my best to answer it. And if you have any specific bottles I should put up against each other, also let me know down below. Love doing these reviews and sharing with you the experience at home. And as always, may your last drink of the night be the best one. You know, I even like it might not.